Ah, uh, yeah, we are recording. Which will be my final video of this little segment before basically um, I think about what else I can um, record. Uh, this is simply going to be a blog talking about uh, the World Cup. And I don't mean, yeah, the World Cup. If you know what it is, it's basically the Football World Cup. Or to the Americans, soccer. And how excited am I? Well, I'm very excited because England are going to the World Cup. Yeah! Yep, we're going to go to that World Cup. And hopefully, I believe, we are going to win it. Although, a lot of people will say I am living in cuckoo land. Because England never win the World Cup. Well, in fact, we won it once in 1966. And the old joke is, we won't win it unless there are three West Ham players in the squad. But, yep, we are going to the World Cup, and I, I'm going to be very, very happy, because I'm hoping, I'm hoping that England will actually win that World Cup. And, I don't think we have that much of a problem, because we have a team that have been selected by Roy Hodgson, which could do the job. However, I do actually question one or two of the choices that he's made, because, A, They've only played about two two games for England, and I don't see why they should be in the squad. I like to think that um, experience is key. That is my my view on when it comes to basically picking a team that's going to go to the World Cup. I don't think you should be basing it on how well they've played lately. It should be about experience. Was it very hard for some for some because um, basically some some managers don't want this experience, they want to have a, a squad full of um, all, all, an all round an all round team. But for me, I, I like to go for experience, and plus it's very hard when um, there are experienced players that don't go to the World Cup and they think, and you think to yourself, well if you can win the World Cup, how sad is it going to be for someone like Ashley Cole, who ain't going to pick up a medal, where he's had a good run <coughs> playing for England, and yet doesn't get a medal he deserved because he didn't go to the World Cup because Roy Hodgson did not pick him over somebody who only played that one or two games for England. But yeah, I really, really do hope that England will win it. Although, however, should England not win the World Cup, yes, should England not win the World Cup, and somebody else wins it, then I'm going to go for Holland because they are my second choice at winning the World Cup. I basically do love Holland when it comes to football. Um, they are managed by Louis van Gaal, who will no longer be the manager of Holland should they ever win the World Cup because he's going to go to Manchester United. And yes, um, so basically, um, I'm going to leave it there because there is not much else I can say about the World Cup, but that I am excited and can't wait for it to start. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Sorry about that, but I just had to let... Uh, I know I'm being a little bit under the weather a little bit, so bear with me on that one, but yeah, I do really hope that um, England win the World Cup and it's going to be enjoyable because I'm going to enjoy it and I've never actually really missed any of the World Cups. I've been very lucky, very, very lucky over my over my years that I have never really missed any World Cups because they've always been on when I've been around to actually watch them. Very, very lucky, very, very lucky. That that's it. Although there might come a time when the next World Cup might be on and I might not be around to watch it so much. Or be around but not watch all the matches because I might be working or something. But I've been very fortunate over the years and I remember what... And I'm going to finish off with them. Um, I remember I remember one of the World Cups, 1998, when I was at school. I actually watched all of that because um, I broke my leg. So basically I was off at the same time that the World Cup was on, so I got to watch. 
the World Cup of 1998 did not have to go to school. Because I knew that if I had to go to school I would have missed some of the matches. I think I would have done because they would have been shown at the time um, and that. And um, of course this World Cup, because of the time difference and it's been um, held in Brazil, then there's going to be some matches. There's going to be some matches on that go on at night. Uh, most of the World Cup matches go on at night, but this is because what they're going to do, they're going to put like three matches on basically at like five o'clock. There's going to be another match on after it. But they're going to start about. Hang on. Yeah, they're going to start at five, but the last match is going to be about twelve o'clock at night. In case you are wondering. But there you go, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the World Cup. I wanted to talk a little bit about the World Cup. I wanted to talk about um, a few predictions that if England don't win it, Holland are going to win it. And who else might be favourite? Germany, Spain, Brazil, possibly. And we'll finish off with one thing. I keep going to finish off with one thing. I really am going to finish off with one thing. And the player that I'm looking forward to seeing the most in the World Cup, Lionel and Messi. I love Lionel Messi, I love Barcelona, so hopefully Lionel Messi will have a good World Cup. But apart from that, come on England, let's bring it home. Yeah!